All right. Um, hello, everybody. My name's Ian, and uh, I have chosen seven pieces today to make a week's worth of outfits. Basically, you know, trying to like find your your uniform, your bread and butter. Um, it's not all the time that people have these massive wardrobes to choose from. Sometimes you got to be a little more selective. So let's hop right into it and just kind of go through the pieces that I think represent. Uh, my uniform, I would say. Um, so first and foremost, we're gonna start off with the hat. Um, Capital Trucker hats, I own a good amount of these. Uh, this one was my favorite one in the store. I love the way the orange pops off the green here. And it's just so nice to have uh, a trucker hat, or any hat for that matter, but in my case, these truckers, I like the way they look with my hair, and I can kind of play it a little more like cowboy-y style. Um, but basically, um, it, it's, it just really takes an outfit from basic to, you know, a little leveled up. Uh, you, could, you could have a t-shirt on and some jeans, and then it makes a whole difference when you throw a hat on, especially when it gives you some options and it, it, uh, with color, and it adds kind of like a pop of color up top as well. Um, all right, and so another uniform item for myself, I would say, is a white t-shirt. Um, any t-shirt for that matter, but I think white, I gravitate towards the, uh, the, the lighter colors, maybe a cream. But um, the lady white white tee is just nothing like it. Uh, not it, you know, it speaks for itself. You know, especially with the t-shirt as well, you can play it up or down, uh, dress it up or down. Uh, you could, you know, be bumming out in a t-shirt and at the same time you could <clears throat> have like a really nice pair of slacks on and if it's a warm day out, just wear a nice t-shirt and as long as it like looks fresh and you know, you got a good iron on it, um, then yeah, t-shirts, you know, very universal, I would say. So for this next piece, um, I wanted to pick something cozy. Uh, so I went with this capital. Haha, uh, everything I'm choosing is capital, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> uh, I went with this capital crew neck here. It's got their famous Ashbury dye, which I think is important. I think it's important for me to include tie dye in my uniform. Um, it's just, you know, some people think that they outgrow tie dye. I say that that's impossible. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's it's when you find a dye like this, you know, it's not too in your face. It's it's kind of light. Um, there's light hits of pink here, and I mean, this guy's a little scary up front, but um, <laughs> why not, right? I, I'm a little scary as well. <laughs> um, and then I love the love, peace, and hard rain. Everybody likes a nice rainy day, um, especially when you can hear it hitting off the window. I don't really know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> Um, but yeah, basically with that piece, I just wanted something cozy. Um, I also think I like the way a crew neck looks a little better than a hoodie. I don't like to mess with all that. And with the crew neck, um, you can play the collars of things as well, which I'll also do with the, the next piece. Um, so for the next piece, I went with the needles flannel. These are like by far one of my favorite things in the store because of all the color combinations it provides. You can spend all day trying to choose your favorite one. Um, and I love how they all fit different as well. Some will be a little more cropped and wide, more long, some others more long and you know, stacking. Uh, and so I went with this one just because out of the ones that were left in the shop, I think this one has great colors. I'm surprised it's left. I'm really liking this strip, these two strips right here, the blue and the green, nice red sleeve and uh, I think it just has good balance on this one. And uh, like I'm wearing right now, you can wear flannels open, closed, under, crew necks, whole lots of combinations. So uh, another thing to keep in mind is like, as much as it looks good, it's also uh, very versatile as well. Um, you can wear it with shorts, as uh, you could wear it with pants, you know, it could be like a, a winter layer or just something to kind of keep you a little warm when it gets chilly on the summer nights. Um, and then for my next piece, I will be doing the US Army Chinos by Orslo. Basically, I just wanted to pick a khaki pant, um, something with a little bit of bagginess. We do have the New Yorkers that have the cinch on the leg, but this obviously is chino style, leaves it open, and that's what I was going for. I like room, I like comfort. Um, you know, not, not sloppy though, I, I like to, you know, just feel good in, in my clothes, but also look good. And uh, I think, you know, this is just classic khaki. You can, you can pair khaki with anything. Um, just, just easy, you know, super easy. <laughs> um, all right. 
And I'm always talking about how much I love spring. Um, so many people in the shop are fall people and I get it, you know, it means the more the merrier, the more layers, um, it's more fun to play with all the different things. And you know, sometimes in spring you can feel a little limited because it's so hot. Uh, but you know what, I, like I said, comfort. I just like to feel good and free. And so these shorts by Capital, nice camo design. I love how like the peace signs bleed through. Um, you can like, you know, just kind of takes a, a harder look at it. But basically with the shorts, it's, the camo is a little crazy, but you know, camo is, is uh, uh, earth tones. And you know, a lot of what I have here is kind of greens, browns, tans and I think it works with the vibe I like to give off. And then um, again, works with the weather, um, especially when it gets hot in the summer here. And then for the shoes, um, I went with classic Converse, went with the high tops and the cream colors, just cause that's my personal preference. You know, I own the high top black. I just think for this outfit, these, um, this colors, you know, works better with the scheme here. And uh, yeah, Converse, Wear it with shorts, you can wear them all unlaced up, or you can wear them how they are like now, all the way laced up for a nicer look. Um, I'm gonna be playing them probably pretty sloppy, um, but that's just the way I like to look in some Converse. Um, the more lace is hanging out, the better. And it's just, you know, it's been around for decades. Um, so thanks to Converse for making a great shoe and making it able to pair with seven outfits for the day, or for the week. There you go. All right, let's see what these look like. <laughs>